Hi, so welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to be looking at oxidants and reductants. So we're going to put up a list of oxidants or potential oxidants, and we're going to decide which ones would be able to work as an oxidant. So looking at this table, this is our reduction potential table. And what we want to do is if a substance is on the left of the reduction half reaction, then it would be an oxidant. So if it's on the right, then it would be a reductant. So we can look at the sign and the magnitude for the E naught of the reduction to determine whether or not it's going to be strong or weak. Okay, so if we look firstly at NaS, which is our first example. So looking at the table, so it's a strong reductant and it's on the right and the E naught of the reduction equals the minus 2.71 volts. Okay, so that's a strong reductant. So our next example is O3 gas. So looking for O3 gas, we can see it's a strong oxidant because it's on the left and the E naught of the reduction equals the 2.07 volts. So it's a strong oxidant. Okay, now let's look at Ce3+. Plus. So Ce3 plus is a very weak reductant because it's on the right and it's E naught of the reduction equals the 1.61 volts. So it's a very weak reductant. Now the last one is SN2 plus. So this is a weak reductant. Again, it's on the right in the E naught of the reduction here equals the 1.54 volts. It's also a weak oxidant with the um, being on the left and it's got a E naught of minus 0.136 volts. Okay, so that one there could be a weak reductant or weak oxidant depending. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.